From the enchanting shores of Hawaii to the grand stage of American Idol, Iam Tongi's musical journey has been an incredible adventure. With a mix of Tongan, Samoan, and Irish roots, his music weaves together a beautiful tapestry of cultures and emotions that will truly leave you in awe. But the road wasn't easy. Despite facing initial rejections and battling self-doubt during Hollywood Week, he never gave up. Through sheer determination and passion, he earned his well-deserved spot in the competition, ready to mesmerize the world with his incredible talent. With his soul poured into every performance, he managed to touch the hearts of both judges and the audience. So, join us as we explore how American Idol changed Iam Tongi's life forever. William Guy Tongi was born on the 1st of September 2004. He's originally from Kahuku, Hawaii, which is located on the island of Oahu. As the youngest of five children, the singer's passion for music ignited at a tender age. In fifth grade, he learned to play the ukulele and the piano. But here's the cool part. When he turned 13, his dad surprised him with the guitar as a gift from his holiday paycheck. From then on, he used that guitar in almost all of his performances on American Idol. Iam is of Tongan, Samoan, and Irish descent. He is also a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. In 2020, his family moved to Washington, and there he attended Decatur High School. Before making his mark on American Idol, Iam had already begun his musical journey by releasing a single called Dreams. He wrote this heartfelt song for his sister's wedding back in 2020, showcasing his talent as a singer-songwriter. Alongside that, he had also treated fans to a couple of pre-idol singles, a cover of ABBA's classic The Winner Takes It All, and another original track named Gone. Throughout his musical journey, Iam didn't venture alone. He had the support and mentorship of the Hawaiian-born singer Jack Johnson, who guided him and helped him navigate the complexities of the music industry. In season 20 of American Idol, Iam gave it a shot and auditioned, but unfortunately he didn't make it past the initial screening process. However, his mum had other plans. Without telling him, she signed him up again for the season 21 auditions. At first, Iam was hesitant to audition again. Because of the previous rejection, he didn't think he would go far in the competition anyway. But with a little encouragement, he decided to give it another shot. During the audition, the Hawaiian singer opened up about the reason his family had to move to Washington. They were priced out of paradise. When the judges asked about his father, he couldn't help but get emotional. Ian revealed that his dad, Rodney, had passed away just a few months before the audition and that it was his dad who had ignited his passion for music. He hadn't planned on talking about his dad during the audition because he didn't want his journey to come across as a sob story. With a heavy heart and great determination, Ian performed a deeply touching rendition of James Blunt's song Monsters, dedicated to his late father. It was an emotional moment that struck a chord with the judges and the audience alike. All three judges, Lionel Richie, Katy Perry, and Luke Bryan, were moved to tears, and they gave him a standing ovation. Not only that, they also unanimously voted to send him to the next round. Iam's audition video quickly became a sensation. Within just two days after his performance, he gained a staggering 112,000 Instagram followers. His audition also became the most-watched audition video on American Idol's YouTube page, amassing over 16 million views in just three months. His heartfelt performance and the story behind it touched the hearts of millions and made him an instant favorite among viewers. Iam's American Idol journey had its fair share of challenges and emotional moments. During Hollywood Week, he faced a major setback when his guitar broke and he lost his voice. It was a tough moment for him as he had promised his late dad that he would use the guitar in all his performances. Despite the tears, Iam saw it as a sign that he could stand on his own without the guitar and this setback inspired him to continue in later rounds too. In the season finale, Iam delivered an unforgettable duet with James Blunt singing Monsters, the same song he had sung in his audition. The performance was filled with raw emotion, and Iam broke down on stage while singing. It was a powerful tribute to his father, who always believed in his talent and hoped for his success. As the finale of American Idol grew near, Iam didn't slow down his momentum, he surprised his fans with the release of a powerful new single titled I'll Be Seeing You. The song resonated with listeners and swiftly climbed the charts, 
reaching an impressive number three on Billboard's digital song sales and climbing to the top spot on rock digital song sales thanks to 11,000 downloads. His win on American Idol generated mixed reactions among fans. Some praised him, while others criticized the show, claiming he won due to sympathy alone. Despite the controversy, Ian remained humble and grateful for the opportunity. Ian didn't expect to make it that far. He approached the winner announcement with an open mind, simply grateful and thrilled to have come this far in the competition. His humble and positive attitude endeared him to both the judges and the audience, making his journey all the more inspiring. Throughout the show, Ian made remarkable song choices, including a cover of Hawaiian reggae group Kahole Kai's Cool Down during the finale. His song selections and performances garnered praise from Hawaiian recording artists and producers who admired him for representing island music on a national stage. Ian's presence on American Idol showcased the beauty of island music and culture to a broader audience, and he hoped to inspire other Polynesians to pursue music, breaking the barriers of fear and pride that might hold them back. Ian's family also played a significant role in keeping him grounded despite his newfound fame. Winning the competition was a life-changing experience, and he reflects on the most significant lesson he learned from it all, to always remain true to oneself and never let others try to change or mold him into someone he's not. After his triumphant victory on American Idol, Ian wasted no time in hitting the road for a thrilling tour. During this tour, he had the wonderful opportunity to reunite with his fellow contestant, Oliver Steele, who had secured a spot in the top eight. Throughout the competition, Ian and Oliver forged a special bond, and through their performances together, they aimed to share that unique connection with their fans. It was an incredibly heartwarming experience, and their genuine camaraderie touched the hearts of many. During one of the tour stops at the Tassel Bay Resort on the 1st of July 2023, Ian had a fantastic surprise in store for the audience. He invited Ramanda Peralta, the talent behind Kalohe Kai, to join him on stage for a special performance of Cool Down. This was the very same song that Ian had showcased during his time on American Idol, and it held deep significance to him. Performing the song together with Roman made the moment even more memorable and special. The icing on the cake was the thoughtful gift they received during the tour. A skilled ukulele maker from Hawaii presented both Ian and Oliver with custom-made matching ukuleles. These instruments symbolized the strong friendship they had formed throughout their incredible journey on American Idol. Ian's homecoming after his epic win was a joyous celebration of music and friendship. Where so many good things were happening, Ian also learned that being a celebrity meant having your every move judged under public scrutiny. On July 10, 2023, he found himself in the midst of a controversy when he sung the national anthem at the 2023 Home Run Derby. Unfortunately, he forgot to take off his baseball cap before delivering the anthem. After the performance, some people raised concerns about the proper etiquette and respect associated with singing the national anthem. However, the American Idol winner quickly addressed the situation and took responsibility for the oversight. He turned to social media to apologize, explaining that the mistake was due to nervousness while performing in front of such a massive audience. Despite the slip-up, he showed sincerity in owning up to the error, assuring everyone that it was not intentional and that he deeply regretted any offense caused. With a journey that has been a roller coaster of ups and downs, Ian Tongi remains ever hopeful about the future. He understands that controversies can be a part of celebrity life, but he is ready to face them with grace and resilience. Despite the challenges, Ian is determined to be a dignified figure and a positive representation for his tribe and community. With the unwavering support of his family and the lessons learned from his late father, he is committed to staying true to himself and using his platform to inspire others.